Huh? Hold on, I need to get some water. Water. Agua. Hmm. Ah. Hello, everyone. It's uh, it's Mr. Harland. Today, for video number four, we're going to talk about the computer hacker named Dennis Michael Moran. Dennis Michael Moran, also known as Coolio. We've been spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise. No, not that Coolio. I'm sorry. It's a shame that one passed away. It's very sad. I like his music. I really do. May that man rest in peace. He was also, this computer hacker, though, was also known as Coolio. Was an American computer hacker. Wolfsboro, New Hampshire, who was accused in February 2000 of a series of denial of service attacks that shut down some of the most popular websites on the internet. He was 17, year old, 17 years old when he committed the attacks. He was later arrested and pleaded guilty to facing the websites of drug abuse resistance education, also known as DARE and RSA security as well as unauthorized access of the U.S. Army and Air Force computer systems at four military bases. Unfortunately, Moran died of a drug overdose in 2013. On February the 7th, 2000, a Smurf attack generating over one gigabyte per second of internet control message protocol traffic was launched against Yahoo's router causing their websites to be inaccessible to the world for hours. In a message sent to the CERT Coordination Center, Yahoo Network Engineer Jan B. Combs stated that the attackers were above your average script kitty and knew about our topology and planned this large-scale attack in advance. Shortly thereafter, Stanford University's Computer Security Administrator David Brumley began monitoring Internet Relay Chat IRC traffic on IRC Stanford EDU, which was then a public server on the EFNet IRC network. He discovered discussions about the attack on Yahoo. Yahoo taking place which led him to believe members of the of an IRC channel had information about the source of the attacks. He contacted the FBI to give them transcripts of the IRC chat. Over the following week, a series of equally crippling denial of service attacks affected many other internet sites. Major internet sites including eBay, Amazon.com, E-Trade, and Buy.com. A security consultant named Yol de la Garza also began investigating the IRC channel. While he was in the channel, RSA Security's website was redirected to a hacked web server in Colombia with a defaced copy of their homepage. The defacement included a reference to David Brumley's nickname on IRC as he had joined the channel by then in an attempt to gather more information from, from Moran. De La Garza witnessed this live show of criminal activity and later reported it to the media. On March the 5th, 2000, the FBI raided Moran's house and seized his computers. After having so much attention drawn to him, and De La Garza's account of Moran being responsible for defacing the RSA's website, the FBI investigated Moran's connections to other website defacements. Eventually, they passed this evidence on to the New Hampshire Attorney General's office, and Moran was charged as an adult with seven counts of Class A felony authorized, unauthorized access of a computer. One year later, on March 9, 2001, he pleaded guilty to four counts of misdemeanor, unauthorized access of a computer, and was sentenced to 12 months in jail with three months suspended, as well as ordered to pay a 15,000 U.S. dollars in restitution. 
His arrest took place in Wolfsboro, New Hampshire. He would have a professional career before he passed away. During his time in jail, Moran was mentored by Paul Zimmerman, who helped him start a computer consulting company, DM Computer Services. His focus worked on troubleshooting both home and business computers around Wolfsboro, New Hampshire. And that is it for today's fourth and final video. If you liked today's video, feel free to like, share, like, and uh, like, share with family, friends, subscribe, uh, like, wait, I already said that, leave it, and, uh, you know, leave a comment in the comments section below. And, ah, uh, yes. And let's go blues. See you all next Monday.
Oh no, I'm burning. Mm. Oh well. Goodbye everyone. See you next Monday.